the capability you were aiming for is approximately a million vehicles worth of, uh, of battery weight lithium. Um, but so the potential is there to expand beyond that uh, as needed. Um, we intend to continue to use uh, uh, suppliers of lithium, so it's not that Tesla will do, do all of it. But we thought uh, it's important to address what we think is, uh, as we look ahead a few years, a fundamental choke point in the advancement of electric vehicles is the availability of battery weight lithium. Elon Musk's research team has just made another groundbreaking discovery in EV batteries. They've developed a battery with five times the capacity of the industry standard lithium-ion design. Not only that, this battery can now run for thousands of cycles, making it perfect for electric cars. But here's where it gets really exciting. The team has also unveiled a new biologically inspired battery membrane, paving the way for a novel method of commercializing this cutting-edge technology. What possibilities could this breakthrough open up for the EV industry? Let's find out in today's video. Lithium ore itself uh, uh, for mining is actually quite common. So lithium is, is, a, is actually a very common element on Earth. It's present uh, basically in every country. So it's, it's not that there's a shortage of lithium uh, ore to mine, uh, but there is a shortage of, 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 of truly heavy industry uh, refinement of, of lithium to, to battery grade. While working on enhancing the viability of lithium sulfur batteries, often hailed as the holy grail of batteries for their advantages over conventional lithium ion ones, Tesla's research team stumbled upon a groundbreaking method. Lithium sulfur batteries have the potential to provide five times higher charge capacity compared to lithium ion batteries used in everything, from smartphones to electric vehicles. However, their inherent instability causing a 78% size change after each charging cycle hindered their commercial usage. The team sought to restructure the battery's cathode to prevent harmful chemical reactions during the charging process. Unexpectedly, they encountered a rare chemical phase of sulfur that halted these reactions. This breakthrough enabled sulfur to crystallize into monoclinic gamma phase sulfur, replacing the previously complex polysulfites, which could only be achieved at high temperatures in lab settings. Surprisingly, this monoclinic gamma sulfur remained stable even after undergoing thousands of charge discharge cycles, demonstrating its exceptional performance and endurance. The stable sulfur cathode exhibited no degradation after an astonishing 4,000 charge discharge cycles within a year. To put it into perspective, this is equivalent to 10 years of continuous operation. The battery's capacity exceeded three times that of a lithium ion battery, showcasing its potential for commercialization and widespread adoption. The team is now focused on comprehending the precise mechanism behind this groundbreaking technique, aiming to move away from costly and challenging to extract materials. This extraordinary discovery holds immense promise for developing more sustainable and affordable battery technology. Additionally, Tesla's new lithium refinery in Texas has commenced construction, aiming to generate enough battery-grade lithium to support the annual manufacturing of 1 million electric vehicles. By pioneering this new production technology, Tesla seeks to push the industry toward greater efficiency and reduced reliance on expensive materials. Lithium sulfur batteries, being solid state, eliminate the need for liquid electrolytes present in conventional lithium ion batteries. They offer higher energy density and improved safety, making them more attractive alternatives. With their distinctive bipolar architecture and unique structure, lithium sulfur batteries have an anode material of sulfur and a cathode material of lithium metal or alloy. A solid separator keeps the active ingredients in place, enhancing stability and safety by eliminating the risk of short-circuiting and thermal runaway associated with liquid electrolytes. These batteries have the potential to revolutionize aviation, finding applications in satellites, drones, military vehicles, and eventually, short-range electric aircraft and urban flying taxis. Lithium sulfur batteries surpass the basic limitations of lithium-ion technology, offering affordability, lighter weight, and enhanced safety features. Furthermore, they help address environmental concerns related to nickel and cobalt production. By utilizing sulfur, which is abundant and inexpensive, lightweight cells can be manufactured with reduced environmental and social impacts. Lithium sulfur batteries operate through a conversion mechanism, distinguishing them from other battery types that employ intercalation methods. 
when lithium reacts with elemental sulfur, polysulfides form, storing energy within the cell. The use of lithium metal as the anode significantly increases the gravimetric energy density, enabling greater energy storage for a given weight of the device. This advancement marks a significant leap beyond current battery technologies. In the past, researchers focused on developing new materials to enhance the sulfur cathode and lithium sulfur LIS batteries. However, it became clear that in order to compete with widely used lithium ion batteries, the performance of LIS batteries needed to be improved. In recent years, the benefits of LIS batteries over existing battery technology have become more apparent. One of the key advantages of LIS batteries is their enhanced gravimetric energy density. This means that LIS batteries can store more energy per unit weight compared to other battery technologies. The theoretical energy density of LIS batteries is impressive, reaching 2700 watt hours per kilogram. Although the practical usage may be slightly lower, advancements in cell design and materials are expected to push the energy density above 500 watt hours per kilogram by 2021. This high energy density opens up new applications for electrification, including large vehicles and aviation. Another significant advantage of LIS batteries is the lower cost of raw materials. Traditional lithium-ion batteries rely on expensive elements like nickel and cobalt, which drive up the cost. In contrast, sulfur, the main component of LIS batteries, is abundantly available on Earth, making it a more cost-effective choice. As commercialization of LIS batteries expands, economies of scale will further reduce costs, potentially making them significantly cheaper than lithium-ion batteries. Safety is a critical consideration in battery technologies, and LIS batteries excel in this aspect. The conversion mechanism used in LIS batteries creates new materials during the charging and discharging process, reducing the risk of catastrophic failures. Additionally, the passivation of the highly reactive lithium anode with sulfide compounds further enhances safety. While thermal runaway can still occur in LIS cells, studies have shown that it is less severe compared to lithium ion cells. The adoption of LIS batteries is expected to be accelerated due to their inherent safety advantages, potentially eliminating the need for additional safety components. Environmental concerns surrounding battery technology have been growing, particularly regarding the mining and production of nickel and cobalt for lithium-ion batteries. In contrast, sulfur, the primary material in LIS batteries, is widely available and geographically dispersed. Its production capability spans across all continents and it is considered almost limitless by the US Geological Survey. Additionally, sulfur has minimal environmental and health risks associated with its use as stated by environmental organizations. By utilizing sulfur instead of nickel and cobalt, LIS batteries can significantly reduce their environmental impact. Researchers have been working to overcome the challenges of LIS batteries such as the rapid deterioration of their capacity. An unexpected breakthrough was made by the Lawrence Berkeley National Laboratory, where scientists discovered that a CV derivative called carrigenin acts as a stabilizer in LIS batteries. This discovery has the potential to increase the cycling life and overall stability of LIS batteries, addressing one of the major hurdles in their commercialization. Their groundbreaking research was recently published in the esteemed journal NanoEnergy in a paper titled Nucleophilic Substitution Between Polysulfides and Binders Unexpectedly Stabilizing Lithium Sulfur Batteries. Lead author Leo and his team have made a significant breakthrough in the field of energy storage, addressing the urgent need for cost-effective solutions. Leo emphasizes that while energy storage is in high demand, there is a lack of chemistry that can meet the cost targets. However, they discovered that sulfur, an incredibly cheap material, has a significantly higher energy capacity compared to lithium-ion batteries. One of the main obstacles in harnessing the potential of lithium-sulfur batteries is the polysulfide shuttling effect. Sulfur tends to dissolve during the charging and discharging process, hindering the stability and overall performance of the battery. To overcome this challenge, Leo and his team turned their attention to the binder, a vital component that holds all the active elements together within the battery cell. Binders often choose for their inert nature act as a glue, ensuring the cohesion of the cell. In a remarkable turn of events, the researchers stumbled upon an unexpected result. 
when they used a binder, it not only effectively bound the components but also reacted with the polysulfide, creating a covalent bonding structure. This chemical interaction prevented the sulfur from dissolving, leading to increased stability. Intrigued by this discovery, they sought to find a naturally occurring substance that could replicate this function. Enter carrageenan, a substance derived from red seaweeds. Carrageenan belongs to the same functional group as the synthetic polymer used in their earlier tests, making it chemically reactive in a similar way. Astonishingly, carrageenan, known as a food thickening agent, demonstrated the ability to immobilize the polysulfide and function as an effective glue, rivaling the performance of the synthetic polymer. To validate their findings and gain deeper insights into the electrochemical processes, Leo collaborated with Jinghua Guo from the Advanced Light Source at Berkeley Lab. The state-of-the-art facility boasts some of the most advanced soft X-ray and ultraviolet radiation instruments worldwide. By utilizing these cutting-edge tools, they were able to monitor the electrochemistry of the battery cell in real time during the charging process. This unique experiment shed light on the intricate procedure and could only be conducted at the advanced light source, solidifying its significance. Leo and his team's research represents a remarkable advancement in the realm of lithium sulfur batteries. Their discovery of the binder's role in stabilizing the battery, coupled with the natural substance carrageenan's ability to mimic this function, opens up new avenues for creating highly stable and cost-effective electrode materials. With their pioneering approach and the insights gained from their real-time monitoring, they have paved the way for further breakthroughs in the field of energy storage. Leo further explained the intricacies of their research, highlighting the special beamline they utilize to track sulfur. Designing an in situ tool for this purpose required significant effort, but it proved to be worth it. Through their in situ cell, they were able to observe the path of sulfur and confirm that there was indeed an effect. Leo couldn't help but express his excitement, claiming, Wow, it was awesome. The endorsement of their findings by General Motors, an organization known for its collaboration with Berkeley Labs Energy Storage and Distributed Resources Division, added further credibility. General Motors independently tested the results and observed the same effect, even reporting better stability than anticipated. According to Leo, their findings introduce a completely fresh perspective on battery chemistry. The idea of using a reactive binder instead of an inert one challenges conventional thinking. Binders are traditionally viewed as physically binding components together, but their research revealed the importance of chemically binding the polysulfide. This discovery opens up new possibilities and approaches in battery design and development. Leo and his team have been working on lithium sulfur batteries for some time, utilizing a unique electrode structure inspired by nature's own super-efficient ant nest. Their previous study, published in Nano Letters last year, showcased their progress in developing these batteries. With the breakthrough in stabilizing lithium sulfur batteries, their focus now shifts to extending the battery's useful life. Leo expressed their goal of reaching thousands of cycles, a significant improvement compared to lithium-ion batteries dominating the market. Lithium sulfur batteries boast an energy density over twice as high as that of lithium-ion batteries, making them promising candidates for applications such as drones and airplanes given their lighter weight. In fact, lithium sulfur batteries played a crucial role in providing nighttime power during the 14-day solar-powered flight of the unmanned aircraft Zephyr in 2010. To gain a deeper understanding of the molecular processes within the cell, Leo, Guo, and their team will continue their research. They aim to unravel the reversibility and interactions of the polymer with sulfur, which will inform the development of more effective strategies for extending the life of lithium sulfur batteries. The study received funding from the DOE Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy and utilized the DOE Office of Science user facilities at Berkeley Lab's Advanced Light Source and Molecular Foundry. In the pursuit of alternatives to replace lithium-ion batteries, sodium-ion batteries emerge as a potential contender. Sodium-ion batteries are a form of secondary battery with operating principles remarkably similar to lithium-ion batteries. During the charging process, sodium ions are extracted from the cathode material and inserted into the anode material via the electrolyte. Conversely, during discharging, electrons are transferred from the anode to the external circuit to maintain charge balance. 
The charging time for sodium ion batteries as a backup power source could theoretically be reduced by half compared to lithium ion batteries. However, sodium ion batteries require different cathode, anode, and electrolyte materials compared to lithium ion batteries. Therefore, these materials need to be modified accordingly. The primary advantage of sodium ion batteries lies in their lower cost. Sodium is more abundant in the Earth's crust, making it easier to extract and more plentiful compared to lithium. This abundant resource base provides an economic advantage for sodium ion batteries contrasting with the limited supply and higher cost associated with lithium. So, do you think this new battery idea will finally make it to the market or will it fade away like most of innovative ideas? Share with us in the comments below. And if you enjoyed the video, show us some love by hitting that like button and leaving a comment down below. Also, if you're a fan of all things technology, be sure to check out this other video we've got lined up for you. It's packed with all the latest news, tips and tricks to keep you ahead of the curve.